Hello everybody, I am Chester Monkey Magic and welcome to Crossover Week on Fat Buddha Fitness. All this week we are giving you a series of workouts that use a variety of different styles of exercise so that you can work the maximum areas of your body as you possibly can. We're mixing things up, we've got some general exercises, some martial arts style exercises, even some interval training. And today we're bringing back some isometric exercises which will really get your muscles trembling. So all that remains is for me to get ready and then show you what to do. The first part of today's workout is six minutes of interval training. There are four different exercises. You need to set your timer to uh, 12 rounds of five seconds rest and 25 seconds of working out. You're going to do each of the four exercises and you're going to do three sets of it. They're all isometric exercises. The first one is the bridge or plank. So prop yourself up on your forearms and elbows, feet out behind you, lift your body off the ground. Keep a straight line from your shoulders down to your ankles. You're going to hold that for 25 seconds. Then you've got five seconds of rest. Just enough time to flip yourself over onto your back. Lie on your back, knees up, and we go into the reverse bridge, like that. Put your arms across your chest if you like. Hold that for 25 seconds. From there, stretch your legs out in front of you, and you're just gonna do the foot raise hold. Lift your feet six inches off the ground. You can't actually see my feet, but you can see that I've lifted my legs off the ground. And lift your head and shoulders up. You can put your fingertips on your temples like this if you like. And you're going to hold that for 25 seconds. Fourth and final exercise in the interval training bit is the chair wall sit. Basically, sit your back against the wall, put your uh, knees at 90 degrees, your hips at 90 degrees, fold your arms and you're just going to sit here for the period. You can bring your legs in a little bit closer together or a bit further apart, which, whichever you prefer. And there you go, that's your fourth exercise. Six minutes of interval training, then we move on to the rest. From there we're going to do 30 turning kicks. You've uh, obviously tried these ones before. Using your back leg, you're going to pivot on the ball of the foot of the front leg and kick out over here somewhere. So it looks like this. And back. And back. 30 of those, 15 on one leg, 15 on the other leg. From there we go into the beetle crawl. Now, you've previously done the crab crawl, where you lift yourself up onto your hands and feet, dropping your bottom down below like this, but off the ground, where you walk from side to side. Now we do the beetle crawl where you go backwards and forwards, like this. In doing this, you really need to give yourself a bit of space. The uh, demonstration I just did there was in a very short uh, line, which uh, isn't really long enough for what you want to do. So try and get at least five meters or something like that. Give yourself a bit of space and you're going to do 30 of these beetle crawls. That's 15 forwards and 15 backwards. This exercise is a bit of a new one for you guys. I haven't done this with you before. It's called back and forth chair loops. You stand behind the back of the chair. You must have the back facing you. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift your leg up over the chair, bring it down on one side, so from out to in, and then go back. And then you do it with the other one, like this. This is going to really work your hips. And you're going to do 30 of these. So 15 with each leg. From there we're going to a punch combination. You can start with an uppercut and then a hook. So it looks like this. You're going to do 30 of these, 15 one way and 15 the other way. Nice and hard, as ever. 
punch those punches out with maximum force, just like you do with the kicks. Now we go into burpee box jumps. You've all done burpees before, you all know what those are. Well, a burpee box jump is instead of just jumping straight up at the end, you jump onto a box. Now, if you don't have a box, you can use a chair or a wall, a low wall preferably, or even a table. Um, but basically, you've just got to jump up onto something. So it looks like this. Go down for the burpee. Press up, bring your legs back in, and then you jump up onto the chair. Jump back down, and we go again. And there we go. That is burpee box jumps. And we're going to do 20 of those. Final exercise is the front jab kick. It's a front kick off the front leg. Yesterday we did front kicks, but we did them off the back leg. Today, just going to lift up your front leg, jab your foot out in front of you, kicking with the ball of your foot, and put it back down. So it's like this, and back, this, and back. 30 of these, 15 with each leg. So that was today's workout, and it was another tough one. However, my personal opinion is that tomorrow's is going to be the hardest of this week. So get yourself mentally prepared for that. It's also going to have even more elements to it than we've been using these first three days of the week. Anyway, I am Chester Monkey Magic. This is Fat Butter Fitness. Come and visit us on our website, www.fatbutterfitness.com, where there are many other things for you to look at other than just these videos, such as a blog. I am Chester Monkey Magic, as I've already said. Ami toi